Like Horizon Zero Dawn, back for some more money. We're back with another episode. This is the Pod Boys Advanced Podcast. It's a weekly discussion where we go over the latest in gaming and throw in a little bit of whatever else we want to talk about. My name is Oscar. I'm joined as always by my co-host and best friend. What's up? Here. Once again. Pod Who? Boys I'm sorry. Who? I'm sorry? Oscar. I mean, oh. Oh, oh, who again? <laughs> Eric here, bro. Thank you. What's up? For the clarification, what's up, man? How you been this week? Chilling, dude. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Very fucking busy. Work, work still coming at you hard and fast. Yeah, and it's been, brutal. it's been brutal. You got that bubbly there, right? A little bit of the bubbly. <laughs> but yeah man i feel you on that work's actually been pretty busy on my end too yeah, all, so. the, all them people like oh it's not the end of the world let's go grab our shit yeah basically <laughs> so it's been on and popping anyway man what you've been uh what you've been getting into game wise this week yeah it's a, lot, a lot of destiny again or what you've been doing uh kind of not really i've only this whole week i've only got to play destiny a little bit last night played some iron banner and other than that during the weekend i actually started um that star wars game oh you started fallen order yeah fallen order yeah nice it's it's really good dude it looks it like looks it's, it's a very pretty game it really fucking is like yeah. all the landscapes in it are are amazing all the stuff that goes on in the background and you're like playing whole... on a on a base ps4 right yeah do you see yeah that's that's wild i played it on the on the xbox one x so with like hdr and shit that shit is wild oh i mean my uh my playstation can do hdr mm-hmm. and my tv does it too so like i've never 1080p life dude 1080p life it's over it's gone <laughs> well i mean you're you, you gotta get that playstation uh, that that pro to get the, the the 4k out of it but hey if ps5 is right around the corner so yeah that's uh, i'm cool with i'm cool with just the hdr right now you know what i mean yeah i should that shit goes off in that cool. game in particular for the longest time i had my um my Xbox plug, plugged into the second HDMI port on my TV. Mm-hmm. And apparently it's HDMI 1 in particular that has all the HDR and advanced functions that I didn't know. And, oh, one, yeah. day, and one day I switched it over because I was doing a, like a bunch of mess. I was like cleaning back there. I ended up plugging it into slot 1. And all of a sudden it was just like, oh, HDR enabled. Blah, blah, blah. Like all this crap on my TV. And I was like, oh, shit. And then everything, <laughs> went, everything went from like insane to like Whoa! <laughs> that's crazy dude yeah. but i mean i've been playing that like i said just a little bit of destiny uh my niece made me play fortnite with her on the switch for a little bit oh my god autumn plays fortnite uh, no she's just she's eight, eight years old I of, course, of course she plays fortnite that's crazy <laughs> to me she put, uh, do the kids here that's all they play too that in roblox oh my god roblox she's into that too and sometimes minecraft but they they've gotten over minecraft a bit yeah it's all about roblox and fortnite right now fucking wild man i don't i, I can't do it but not even i can't even do fortnite no thank you it, i i don't really like it honestly it's not my cup of tea but i'll i'll play with my niece you know yeah i mean that's fair i can't i can't fault you for that uh but yeah as far as me i've been playing i played a bit more divinity i saved that dragon update for y'all yeah i know i know you y'all were Hanging on on the edge of your seats. We discussed a couple weeks ago that I was uh, trying to save a dragon who had gotten his uh, That's magic right. perch from a witch. <laughs> Succeeded, killed, dude. She was she's intense. She like 
it's just her when you talk to her, and then as soon as the fight starts, she summons like literally like six undead corpses and these four like carry on beetles is what they're called. They're like these giant freaking beetle creatures that are terrifying. And it, it pops off, dude, but I did it. She's dead. I took her wand. I saved the dragon. Hell yeah. He owes me a life debt now, so. Okay, you got a life debt from a dragon? From that a is dragon? A, that's that like, is a good life debt to have. That's like arguably the best life debt like anyone could ever encounter you know apart from like yeah. a, like, like a leprechaun or a unicorn or something you know what i mean like pretty yeah, good what's <laughs> leprechaun life that would be pretty good dude that's cash money what's what's that uh the fucking uh adventure zone graduation the the pegasus oh the breeze through the willow breeze through the willow <laughs> yeah that's that, that's what's gonna go down dude you're just gonna re- get rescued by this fucking dragon and he's gonna be like hop on <laughs> dude i can't wait dude if that's the case i am down 100 percent. but yeah i played that um i played a bit more paper mario i beat the second boss cleared the the blue ribbon finally and uh, it's good but honestly like I don't, uh, the puzzle battle system gets on my nerves sometimes. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've gotten to the point of cheesing it cuz I'm it's so annoying. What so do you, you mean can, by cheesing it? So when the battle per- first pops up, it is cuz you have a timer to arrange all the rings and like like sometimes there's just like especially during boss fights there's just a lot going on on there so you like you get stressed cuz like ah oh, the timer's counting down. And you can like spend coins to buy more time, but like fuck that. So what you can do to cheese it is, as soon as it pops up, you take a screenshot with the share button, and then you pop out and you go look at the picture in your screen and take your time and look at it, see what the fuck you're gonna do, go back and fucking do it instead of fucking stressing out over the timer. Yeah, that's right. I'm a fucking dirty cheater. Come at me. I don't give a fuck. It's all good, man. It's all good. But yeah, I'm a fucking dirty cheater and I don't even care because this battle system, like, it was fun for, like, the first couple hours and it's just like, ugh, this is fucking annoying. So I'm not really, like, that into, like, that kind of puzzle, like, actual puzzle puzzles. Like, I'll do, like, Zelda puzzles and shit like that, but, like, actually, like a grid-based puzzle, like, ugh, that's tedious to me. I mean, <laughs> it's too, get, too much, dude. Especially with a time limit and shit, like, fuck that. That's true. Time limit on a puzzle, that's never... And then, of course, never I, fun. Then, of course, I believe on Wednesday night, I streamed, I did, I, I, I swear I'm trying to get more streams out, but, like, Sometimes, like, other people that I like are streaming, so I want to just watch them and chill and stuff like that. But, like, I got a stream out this week. I, I think it was Wednesday. I uh, did some yeah. more Persona, like always. And that game just keeps getting wilder and wilder every single time I play it, dude. Like, <laughs> the twists are insane. The writing is hilarious. The situations I get put in, I may or may not have had intimate relationships with a dis- with a ghost uh so that's what the stream ended on last time i'm very <laughs> concerned it was like a may or may not have kind of like it was a black like screen ending. it was oh. a black screen and then it was just a, all right we'll see you next time and it was just like oh i think i just I with a ghost <laughs> It's the nurse. Yeah, you were in there for a second. I was the the nurse. nurse. Yes. She's gonna steal your soul, dude. I I think it's already. I think it's already been said and done. done? I think it's done. I was just playing along for shits and giggles, and the chat was loving it, and it was all fun and games. And and I think I didn't think anything was gonna happen. Then the black screen, and I was just like, (laughs) I just what, what did I just do? I just had sex with a ghost. (sighs) <sighs> you don't play yourself, man. But yeah, that game is super fun. Um, power leveled a bit. 
pushed, uh, made it all the way up to level 40 finally in that game. Pushing 50 hours, and I can, like, I, I said it earlier, but that game just keeps getting more and more fun the more time you put into it, man. It's crazy. So I definitely, I think I'm going to do, like, a solid, like, actually, like, edited video on my full thoughts on the game because, like, 50 hours in because, honestly, it's it's such a good game, such a good way to get introduced to the series. It's like, I'm, I'm definitely hooked on future entries. I'm going to hop into Shin Megami Tensei after this because, it's coming to Switch, and it's like the father series or whatever, mm-hmm. mother series. So, yeah, man, super good game, and that's pretty much been 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 my week in gaming. So, we can uh, start moving on to some of all this crack. A lot of a lot of little stuff happened, some big stuff happened. So, got a lot to move through. So, we'll uh, again, we'll try and uh, try and get you try and get you to bed. <laughs> at, at a godly hour because eric has to has to rise from his coffin at like four in the morning like some sort of vampire like vampiric creature mm-hmm. of the night he's actually more like I a just... blade he's actually more like a blade like creature because he's a day walker so yeah at this point i don't even sleep i just stand there Erky snipes <laughs> <laughs> bro what that's that's gonna be that's gonna be my next my next name for PSN or something. Because yeah, it, <laughs> it works for, uh, it works both ways, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, it, it does. Nice, but but you know, but you'll know. You'll, you'll I'll, know. People who listen to this will know. Yeah, you you guys will know. <laughs> oh shit. Well, did we just establish that Erky is a daywalking vampire? Yeah, I, I, I am in fact a daywalking vampire. This is true. Okay. Yes. Well, this that's is, a, that's this a, is this is canon now. Yes. That's a that's a big one to drop on the people, but I guess we'll just <laughs> keep rolling along into some video games. Uh, we'll start off lightly. I guess we'll keep it. We were just talking about Persona and Shin Megami Tensei, so we'll we'll jump around in the list here a bit. Um. Looks like uh, it, it it came out with Nintendo's financial report that it looks like uh, Shin Megami Tensei is probably going to, the fifth one, Shin Megami Tensei 5, the actual next entry, not the remake, is probably going to be out before um, the end of the fiscal year. So, I mean, that means before, so it means it has until the end of March to fit within the fiscal year. So it's going to mm. definitely going to be an early uh, early release for next year. So that's super exciting for me because... I want to get my hands on it. Got to get through that Persona 4. Got to get that. Got to get, 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 get through that Persona 4. Persona 4. I'm going to just cut that whole part out. That was so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't cut that out. That needs to stay. Oh, God. All right. Anyway, <laughs> the, <laughs> the black PS5 controller leaked. And, well, it's like a prototype. And then it was kind of confirmed by like a patent release later that it, that it was kind of like a. Well, wasn't it? Wasn't it just not just the, not just the uh, the controller, but the whole console, the black edition. Well, no, I mean those. There's a bunch of mock-ups. So you probably saw a mock-up of it, but what it leaked was like a proto, like prototype images, like the t- the kind you take for patent offices with like the rulers and shit. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, but I believe it was just a controller. And mm-hmm. people are mad about it because it has white buttons. <laughs> yep, 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 <laughs> yep, yep. Hello, <laughs> our old friend, Internet. Every time. What are you mad about today? Oh, it's plenty. Oh, it's plenty. White buttons on my black controller, Eric. How dare they? Oh, God. Gonna really fuck with my gaming, bro. Dude, I swear to God, like... <laughs> All these pe- if uh, if all these whiners don't buy a, like a kit on Amazon, open their controller and switch these buttons out, then I don't even want to hear it. Like, if it's that big of a deal, switch them out. Pretty much, yeah. Or just, I'm sure like Astro are, is gonna have some kind of controller that you could remove the buttons, and it's probably gonna be black. Oh, speaking of, I mean, but we're, at, we're that's like a topic for late. Now, how, controllers in general are kind of a scandal 
with PlayStation right now. So we'll touch on that later. So speaking of stuff all right, all right. and all those third party stuff, but interesting that you brought that up. Oh no. Yeah. So I don't know if you probably didn't hear about it. Cause I don't think I, I sent you any links or anything, but yeah, people are, people are mad. Sony, Sony kind of got the heat this week. People were kind of mad at Sony. The internet, the good old internet set its scope on, on Sony and the PlayStation five this week. So Bunch of scandal there. Uh, so the Horizon Zero Dawn PC port dropped today. You know, your boy here has been super excited to to jump into that. Tried to try to try to like squeeze some in before we started the podcast, and my computer said no. Nope. <laughs> Loading screen time. <laughs> Let's let, even though I pre-installed, I had to like, it had to update something else before I launched it. Then when I launched it, it was like, hold on, we got to optimize it for your hardware. That took a solid 40 minutes of my life. And by the time um, it was like 90% done, the call had started. So had to come record the podcast. So I cannot give my early impressions on Horizon Zero Dawn, but uh, apparently uh, Digital Foundry, which is like uh, like uh a big source for a lot of people because they they do like in-depth tech analysis of every game and how it performs on every system like breakdown of like frames per second it does it does it like resolution like by the number by the pixel by like percentage see how everything how well everything does Mm -hmm. uh they released their video on it and and apparently it had like a bunch of like glaring issues glaring bugs and stuff like that the 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 port in itself wasn't very good even after like a day one patch um there was like a memory leaks apparently uh when people were trying to play it in 4k it was playing it in 4k but it looked weird because what it was doing it was it was rendering it in 4k downscaling it to 1080p then rescaling it back up to 4k because of some weird Why? issue, or I don't know, people, people had to like do a bunch of weird mess with their settings to fix all kinds of stuff and everything like that. So I don't know. Mine is fine because I mean my stuff isn't that crazy. I'm just running the, uh, like my recommended shit or whatever. You know, I'm, I don't have like a crazy graphics card or anything like that. Like my computer is pretty decent, but it's not like insane. So I can't run it at ultra settings or whatever. All these people are trying to do anyway. So. Mine runs it at 1440p is what I what I saw before I exited the menu there and um which is pretty good I'll take 1440p but um I I didn't get to see like the frame rate or whatever I got on my computer but apparently there's a bunch of like issues with it which is kind of disappointing but I mean since I'm not like I said big into that kind of tech stuff I'm sure as long as I can plow long my way can play the game plow my way through the game fine. I think I'll be good you know like uh, hopefully, the, like my it doesn't mess up on me or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna it's, be hopping into that as soon as I can. It's a pretty big game, dude. The map in that game is freaking huge. Yeah, which I mean, that's why I'm not like really that mad that it took that long to like optimize and do all that shit on my computer because it's pretty much the biggest game I've ever like. Persona 4 Golden is a PS Vita slash PS2 game that's tiny. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then I had Destiny. I deleted Destiny to um, to clear up space for this, just because I still don't have like an external hard drive. But yeah, this is like definitely like the biggest and most demanding game I've I've installed on here for sure. So yeah, we'll see how it do. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're not trying to see Aloy's pimples, so um, you'll be yeah, fine. I don't really care. I'm just <laughs> trying to like. From that opening cutscene that it made me watch, like, what the fuck, Cyber Jurassic Park? I am so in. Let you get, get me, you get, get me hunting some dinosaurs, man. That's you crazy. get to fight those with sticks and stones. I'm down to shoot one with an air. I saw both. Quite, quite literally, sticks and stones. Oh god. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, oh. It, Oh. Nope, nope. Oh. No, no jinx. No. You know what time it is? <laughs>
I was building up to something there, but I don't know what it was. It's, it's time to move time. on to the next topic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Sony Heat. Speaking of Sony Heat, um, so the really crappy Avengers games that got a beta today, by the way, that I didn't include it here because it just dropped today, and I just saw a couple impressions videos. People, it's all right. It doesn't. It's not terrible looking. It looks all right, but it is a games as a service, and it's gonna be. You know, kind of like Destiny in a way where basically you just kind of rerun the same missions over and over again with your character and get like minimal drops, minimal upgrades, minimal increments, waiting for them to drop the next amount of content and stuff like that. Going to be hella microtransaction heavy, you know, buy skins, buy outfits, buy all that kind of crap. So whatever. Yeah. And then Sony comes out and announces that Spider-Man's coming to Avengers. <laughs> Only on PS. Mm -hmm. Only on PS four and five, right? Yeah, which is which is, and people are mad. People are saying it's anti-consumer. Blah 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 blah. blah. I mean, you know what's anti-consumer? Microsoft not supporting Apple iPhones anymore. That's Apple's fault. That's not my guess. I actually was gonna sneak that topic in here, but all right, you brought it up for me. No, this is a this is a problem on on Apple side. It even has even Facebook uh, Gaming uh, came out and like was talking shit on them today because they've been trying to get on there for over seven months and they keep having to to like jump through hoops because of Apple's uh, fucking. They have too many like restrictions to be on the App Store, basically. Oh really? Yeah. So, what I, apparently from what I heard is what they want um, Microsoft to do is if they want XCloud on there, they have to run individually, run every single game that's going to be on there individually through Apple one by one for for approval. Dude, the do you th- know how long that's going to take? Hundred, yeah, the thousands of games that are going to be on there, and all that type of shit. Like, that's ridiculous. And the the problem with that is is like. They don't. They have Netflix on there. They have Hulu on there. They don't make them do any of that with all of their licensed stuff and everything like that. So, why do you make the gaming industry jump through all these hoops when the multimedia industry gets like a pass? You know what I mean. So, it's definitely more of an Apple thing right now than than a Microsoft thing. They 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 were they've been testing on there for months, trying to get it on there, trying to like adapt to what Apple wants them to do in order to be able to get on there. And Apple shut down Project X Cloud on on. The- oh, I thought it was on Microsoft's end. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Well, that um, sucks. But yeah, man. So that's a whole other scandal in and of itself. Uh, so because yeah, Apple is the one that blocked X Cloud. Uh, apparently, Facebook Gaming had to do a bunch of shit to get on there too. Like I said, they've been trying mm-hmm. for months. They were trying to like. Uh, because Facebook Gaming is just kind of like Twitch or like a, like their version of Twitch where you can watch streams and videos and stuff like that. Yeah. And what Apple what, what Apple kept blocking is apparently they also had like a bunch of free games that you could play through there, like a, like just random little free games they offered, and Apple just blocked those completely and was like, nope, 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 nope. So Facebook Gaming is like, fuck you guys. So they're on there, but without. The content that everyone else has because Apple blocks it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, Spider Man not coming to Xbox and PC, only to PlayStation. Torches and pitchforks are out. I mean, I think it's weird because I mean he was just in Ultimate Alliance three last year, you know, and I mean, so, well, Sony owns like the movie rights to spider-man but they don't own spider-man himself he's still owned by marvel and disney you know what i mean yeah so it's i wonder i wonder if it has anything to do with how they were able to get the rights for the spider-man game Mm, since since they have yeah since they have exclusive they have yeah since they have the spider-man game on there maybe that maybe has something to do with that if they use the same like character models as they did on the Spider-Man game mm-hmm. or like similar costumes as the ones that appeared on there or the same ones. And 
that's probably why they maybe were like, oh, well, you guys can't use this because it's ours. <laughs> I guess, but... I mean, that's yeah, it, it sucks. It sucks. I wish everyone could play Spider-Man. I mean, yeah, Spider-Man's for... Like, that's Spider-Man's whole thing. Like, did you... Did, did Sony not watch their own Enter the Spider-Verse movie, you know? A- anyone can wear the mask. Exactly. You know I mean? Yeah. So that's pretty... That's that's pretty, fuck. There was a meme that I was gonna reference, but that's not very. Oh, that's not very cash money of you. And it's like the Godzilla <laughs> wearing sunglasses. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't very cash money of you. Well then, <laughs> sir. I challenge you to a duel. Where's my white glove? <laughs> Uh, anyways but yeah we can move on we can move on we can move on so the analog fucking pocket man I'm, it just disappeared man like just one poof one breath and it was gone it was just like <laughs> <laughs> but in the shape of cash it was like yeah. a, like a cash cloud and a game boy just like a game boy shaped explosion like wreathed in money yeah pretty much god damn it i want one i hope they reopen pre-orders or something because that sucks man a but like a bunch of like i I thought like everyone like big people even on twitter couldn't even get one so like Mm -hmm. that's crazy how how high the demand was or how low the number of pre-orders was which is well it's such a cool device you know what i mean yeah but still, like, like, they've had other products like that, and I feel like they haven't been that overhyped, you know what I mean? True, true. But I think the fact that you could just have all those adapters to use all those old game cartridges, I think that just is just perfect, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's gone. Boo-hoo, sad. I'm going to go cry myself to sleep, <laughs> but it's fine. I have my my SP here to hold me down. It's all good. I don't need to play Atari Lynx games anyway. But yeah, man, the last uh, small topic here before we move, move on to some bigger stuff is uh, No More Heroes. No More Heroes 3 we've talked about before. I told you to, check, to, to look into it and check it out. Uh, the original No More Heroes was actually given a rating for the Switch. By the Taiwanese, oh, yeah? by the Taiwanese rating board, and oh. when stuff gets rated, that means it's pretty much confirmed to be coming because you have to spend money to rate shit. Mm-hmm. So um, that's how you find. That's how we found out about about a lot of stuff early is because it'll leak in some random country's rating boards, you know. Mm-hmm. So that pretty much cements that the first one's coming. Uh, that which, which if the first one's coming, you can almost guarantee it's the second one's coming. So. That's pretty dope, man. I'm super excited because I haven't played the No More Heroes in a long time, the original. So I'm 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 stoked to jump into that, see if it's all HDified and everything too. So HDified, HDified, yeah, 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 yeah. HDified this. HDify your mother. HDify your dog. HDFI your vehicle. Please don't HDFI my dog. That Draco, time. prepare to be HDFI. <laughs> he looks terrified. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> Nobody wants to be HDFI'd <laughs> unwillingly. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, HDFI. <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, man. It, when and if it, if and when it comes to Switch, you should uh, definitely hop in to the mm-hmm. series, my guy. Because No More Heroes Three is coming fast. You probably haven't checked out that long ass trailer I told you to check out. Because you're a busy man, but it's all good. I think I did. Did you? Yeah, but did you the, talk about the No More Heroes Three trailer from last year's E3? No, I didn't see where it's like where it's like a weird. It starts off with like a weird anime. It's like a kid with like like raising an alien that crashes on Earth. That yeah, you're right. I haven't seen that. You're right. I was thinking of the 
trailer with the guy just talking over it. Oh, no, no, no. But, yeah, man. You should hop into it. No More Heroes is dope. You'll, like, you'll, you'll super dig, like, the writing and the style of it, so. Right, I'm down. But, yeah, man, we can start moving on to some of these main topics. So, the Switch, man. Fucking Switch has been exploding in sales. I mean, we've been known. Mm-hmm. It's always at the top of like the charts and everything like that. But uh, they, Nintendo released their financial report this week. So we got like uh, some more concrete numbers on some stuff and everything. But this is uh, pretty fucking insane, man. With this financial report they released. Um, the Switch itself, the console hits 61.4 million sold so far. Damn. So they crossed. 16. We all know why. I mean, you would, pandemic definitely helped, but I mean, it's been sold out for the most part this whole time too. So that's also all, true. It's all the scalpers buying them up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, sixty-one point four million sold. So that's literally that's sixty. That's sixty million over sixty million sold in a little over three years, which is fucking crazy. They're over halfway to the 100 million mark so i mean it that's a big milestone for them because it's officially past the the sales of the original nes damn and animal crossing dude single-handedly saving the day and year for nintendo game released march 29th and from then to now, it's sold 22.4 million copies. Yep. It's already like the, like the second or third best-selling Switch game or some shit like that. Let's see. 22. I'm going to do the math, dude. I'm going to do the math. How, many, how much money is that? Holy shit. You said it's 22.4 million copies, right? Mm-hmm. And say what? They're released at like 60 bucks a piece? Mm-hmm. The numbers, oh, okay. They've basically made like $1.3 billion off of that. Nintendo sales hit $3.9 billion, up to a hundred, up 108.1% from the same quarter a year ago. Net income was $1.0 billion, up from 514% from a year ago. And software sales were up 23% in the quarter. So they're like, they literally like double. The... Dude, Animal Crossing was about a third of those sales. Fucking crazy. That's insane. So, I mean, that's just an absolute sales monster. An animal and beast and creature. It's just devouring money as it. <laughs> Rampages through every city in the fucking world, apparently. Serious shit, dude. Holy crap. Tom, no- Tom looks like, give me the bells. <laughs> I need the bells. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's like the freaking Stay Puffed guy from uh, Ghostbusters. He's like, Rah! stomping. <laughs> He's fucking filthy rich right now, dude. That's fucking crazy. Think of all those loans. All those loans he made that people are are never gonna pay back. <laughs> I, I I I got the like the last upgrade a while like a while ago when I still when I still played it heavily. I still haven't fully paid him back. I owed him I owed him over a million bells, I believe. So, just put just, he, just he's a con down. artist, dude. He's 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 he'll get you too. He will get you. But yeah, man, uh, apart from that, uh, in other Nintendo news, Nintendo rose from its grave a little bit. No uh, no direct, but they did announce a game. Uh, another Finally. Rem- another remaster, another port of a Wii U game, but it's a game. Uh, Pikmin 3 Deluxe is coming to the Switch. So that's coming October 30th, a day before it's your boy's birthday. Yeah. And I might not cop it because I'm not big on Pikmin, to be honest with you. No. Not a, not a big Pikmin guy. Because for the same reason that I'm annoyed with Paper Mario, 
I hate fucking games that give you time limits for shit. It's like, fuck, oh. man. I hate, like, being under the pressure of a clock at all times. You know what I mean? Unless yeah. it's, like, Majora's Mask, which is fine because you can return. You can turn back time at any point and be good, but not 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 my type of game. Might buy it just for the collection, but I don't know. Yeah, not I big, might not a big Pikmin guy. I might get it only because uh you know how you can choose your avatar on the Switch? Yes. Well, um my girlfriend made a uh an account on the Switch and then mm-hmm. she's scrolling through the little things and one of one one of the little icons is a uh, one of the little Pikmin. Yeah. And she scrolled over and was like, what is that? Oh that thing's God. adorable. And she fell in love with it. So, and then I was actually looking for, to get like a Pikmin game. I figured, oh, maybe they, they ported one over from, from one of the old ones or something, you know? Mm-hmm. And to my surprise, there was no Pik- Pikmin game on the Switch. Nope. No Pikmin like, game. Like none. But, not even like a nothing. But your prayers will be answered on October 30th, Eric. Yep. You can help so, yourself into some Pikmin action. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get myself Pikmin, dude. You can get Pikmin? Cool. Well, at least that's the see. That's why there's two of us here. We balance we ba- balance it out. I'm not getting it, so you can play it and we can talk about it then. So that's pretty dope. Yeah. So Pikmin 3 Deluxe, October 30th. Pretty dope. Um, we can uh, save the state of play and stuff for for the end because it's gonna take up a lot of time. Uh, so we can skip to the Xbox Live Gold scandal. I mean, we don't have much. I don't really have much to say on it. It's just like there's been rumors going around that like people keep saying insiders keep saying that they're gonna get rid of Xbox Live Gold and like uh, make it get rid of the pay for um. Get rid of the fee to play to pay to play online, basically, kind of type of thing. They're gonna make Xbox Live Gold free, type of thing, mm-hmm. and they're gonna get rid of it or whatever, or change its name. And Microsoft came out and firmly said, "No, we said there are no plans uh, to to make changes to Xbox Live Gold currently." So everyone was kind of like, "No, blah 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 blah." We thought it was gonna be free. Well, they said that they weren't getting rid of the service, so but they didn't say that they. That, I mean, so. Still hasn't been fully confirmed, so it could still go free, I guess. But as of right now, they said that there's no changes planned for Xbox Live Gold. Yeah. Do you really think they wouldn't do that? Like, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me because I pay for games for Game Pass, and that comes included with it. So, I mean, I'm going to be paying for Game Pass anyway. So, Yeah, whatever. But I don't know, man. That's another think, case. That's another case of fucking internet. Like some, some like I. We could just say something, dude. Just say something. Just like come up with something, rumor something right now. It could be anything, and just spread it like wildfire on like Twitter or whatever. Uh-huh. And then just someone. A lot of people are gonna call us out on our shit, but someone out there is gonna be like, "Yo." This guy just said this thing. It must be true. <laughs> Dude, and like you say that as like in jest, but literal articles from from reputable game journalist sites, I air quotes for audio listeners, um, have written spawn whole articles on just a random guy's random tweet. Yeah. So Yeah. That's stupid. So yeah, guys, Mario is uh, gonna be in Halo Infinite. That's why the <laughs> graphics look like. That's why the graphics look that way. They had to match match the Mario playstyle. Yeah, yeah, they had to match the Mario aesthetics. They, they they couldn't throw Mario into like a hyper realistic setting like that, so they had to make it look a little more like colorful and cartoony. Yeah, yeah but yeah. yeah, Mario is coming to Halo Infinite. You know, it's free to play, so they're gonna put it on Switch. Mario X Halo Infinite. You heard it here, guys. Nintendo Switch Gold launching 2021. And take that to the bank. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but yeah, man. We can go ahead and start getting into this 
state of play nonsense so we can talk about the controller first so uh people are mad more anti more anti-consumer talk more sony's being big bad angry sony they announced that uh the dual shock 4 and um all, all ps4 controllers uh will not work on ps5 games so you can use them on your ps5 but only for ps4 games you can't use ps4 controllers to play ps5 games i mean that makes sense because if they have all this like, and like, the, like yeah, all this like these like sensors and that pullback thing, like say you're playing Horizon and you're pulling your bow, and it has that like pressure activated thing or whatever, the resistance or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so what? I got you. And then the controller comes with the console. You know what I mean? It's not like yeah. they're making you buy it separately. I, I, I feel that for multiplayer and stuff, um, I, 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 I see the problem for people who have a bunch of controllers for multiplayer. And also, uh, I hadn't thought about it until you brought it up earlier. So I, it's been stuck in my head since then. Is people? There are people out there who spent who have spent a lot of fucking money on these like customized pro super expensive. Like scuff controllers, vantage controllers, whatever they're called, like all these customizable ones, and like the Astro C40, which is like 250 bucks and shit like that for the PlayStation 4. Like that sucks for those folks, man, because that I didn't think of that, but like people have invested a lot of money into these controllers. And to yeah, but I mean, dude, like think about it. Like you're not gonna plug in your PS2 controller to your PS4. I I I get that a hundred percent. You know what like, I mean, like. And I'm not saying and for the DualShock Four, fine, whatever. But I'm saying like, at least allow third party shit. You know what I mean, like. Cause, yeah. Because those controllers, like, they're a whole separate deal anyway. You know what I mean. Well, that's the thing. Like, like, people like, want to miss out on the functions and use their expensive controller with the paddle shifters at the bottom. Then they should be able to do that. I feel. That's true, but at the same time, it's like you know all these third-party companies are going to be making their own PS5 controllers. Well, yeah, and that's the point, though. Like, they're, they're going to, like, force everyone to rebuy shit. That's the problem. I mean, we'll get good. <laughs> get, that's not a... Okay. It's not a matter of get good. No, I, I know. I'm just... Uh... <laughs> Oh gosh, but I mean, whatever. Like I said, I mean, it's not that big of a deal unless, like, like I said, you, you're like, you're a big multiplayer, like, couch co op person, which, I mean, let's face it, really, not, a lot, like, not a lot of yeah. P- like PS4 people, I want to say, aren't the biggest couch co op fans. So, no, that's what, that's why you buy a Switch for and use the Switch for all your couch co op stuff. Comes yeah, with two so. controllers integrated. Mm-hmm. There you go. Well, there you go. <laughs> Problem solved. You heard it here. Erky boy approved. Buy a switch. Buy a switch. <laughs> uh, yeah. So now we can uh, we can wrap it up here with the state of play. We can uh, we 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 went through the trailers a little earlier to kind of speed this up, so we can just kind of go down this uh, this this good old list here. If I can find where I had it. I'm oh, you linked me in the chat, so. So just like um uh, just like we always do, we can like kind of go uh, game by game, see kind of see with what we think about it. Oh, another speed round. Another speed round. Another 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 quick draw. All right, ready? Crash Bandicoot Four. It's about time. What you think? It looks cool. I'm excited to see a new Bandicoot crash bandicoot game dude right i'm actually super excited that he's like back. a fresh one not like crash yeah. bandicoot racing or something and yeah and it looks like they put like a lot of like care into it you know what i mean like it looks super innovative like the platform all the crazy platforming stuff they included all the like the new like uh crazy quantum mass that lets you do a bunch of like physics based powers and everything it, like the gimmick is super cool i think yeah i, I think it's good you can play as the villain. You can play as Coco, Doctor Neo Cortex. You can play as his sister Coco. Like, you can play as a bunch of people. Some guy named like some pickle crocodile weird guy. I forgot what his name was, but people are excited about that. But oh, Dingo Dial is his name. Dingo Dial. You can play as Dingo Dial. 
And uh, yeah, man, I think it's, I think it looks fucking awesome. I'm, I'm probably going to check it out once I grab it. I'm sure it'll be backwards compatible on PS5. I think it's only a PS4 game as of right now. So Yeah, I think so. But yeah, I'll check that out. Uh, Hitman 3 VR. Goodbye, mm-hmm. my friend. See ya, Goodbye, VR. My friend. We don't talk about VR. <laughs> Braid Anniversary Edition. So this is like a, <clears throat> apparently a remake of like this old indie puzzler and stuff like that. It looks super weird. It looks it looks kind of cool, kind of. But I probably won't be checking it out. I'll probably skip Braid, to be honest with y'all. Yeah, same here. Next, they showed the pass list, which uh, I believe you weren't that big a fan of, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, not really. I mean, the animations look cool. Like the game itself, like it looks, it looks nice. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think it's one of those games. Like I'd, I actually have to sit and play it to see how I like it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. Just yeah. like seeing it go down it's just like it doesn't pull me in you know yeah i think it i think it looks pretty good like um as someone who sucks at fucking aiming i think it's cool that the that the shooting mechanic that you use to like fly around the world super fast is more timing based than aiming based is what they said so i think that's pretty fun and i think it's pretty cool that you can like basically shoot your way or shoot your way around the world instead of mm-hmm. just like running around i think that's pretty pretty cool idea and i'm like 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 you said it's a very pretty looking game so i'll probably yeah, check it out so... spelunky 2 oh, okay go ahead. yeah no, 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 no. Oh, no you're done. i was just gonna say i don't know if i'll if i'll i don't know if i'll buy that one or not mm-hmm. we'll see that's all i was gonna say <laughs> well, that's all good well, for sure moving on to spelunky 2 it's a sequel to another uh, indie game. A lot of indie games, a lot of like cartoony stuff in this uh, in, in this state of play. A lot of developers uh, voicing over their trailers and everything like that. So uh, it's another like uh, kind of like an inverse platformer. You're diving down deeper and stuff like that instead of jumping around and platforming side scrolly or anything like that. You know, you go down, spelunk. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it looks pretty cool, but also not really my 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 cup of tea. But, you know, there's a rideable turkey, so there's that, you know. I would only be in it for the turkey. For the turkey, yeah. And then at that point, like, you know, that, that'd just be rude. <laughs> All right. And then Genshin Impact. I'm actually super into this. People hate on it because they call it anime Breath of the Wild. But guess so what? what? It looks really good. Yes. Who the target demographic for anime Breath of the Wild is? This guy. <laughs> it looks fucking cool as shit. I mean, yeah, the like the environments and everything look super similar to Breath of the Wild, but come on, there's like hella more like fantasy magic RPG shit going on than yeah than, than Breath of the Wild. And there's like giant monsters you fight with big ass glowing energy swords. It's exactly a one hundred percent. Up Nightlife you know Life Media Oscars Alley. Everything from now on that has that kind of like art style is forever going to be blank breath of the wild. <laughs> blank breath of the wild. Like it's just the breath of the wild has just cursed everything that uses this art style or anything this, similar. Yeah, anything like anything cell shaded is doomed to be like, is this the next breath of the wild? Yeah, exactly. Just like how anything with any slight sort of difficulty is like, is this the Dark Souls of this? Is this the Dark Souls of that? Is mm-hmm. this the Dark Souls of fishing games? Like, yep. But anyway, looks cool. I'm definitely in day one for that one. I'll check it out. Fuck it. Yeah, same here. This one looks really cool to me. Yeah. Another one that looks really fucking cool is the next game, Eon Must Dude. Die. This game. Which apparently has some sort of scandal going on behind it, but um while I pull that up, we can just talk about the game. It's like a it's it's a beat 'em up, but with like the craziest like neon demon demonic art style I've ever seen. The animations are super cool. It's like a super mm-hmm. dark looking game. Like it looks fucking crazy. 
But yeah, Hell yeah, um, dude. It says uh, all Eon Must Die devs quit the studio this week due to crunch and lack of payments. The trailer was outsourced to artists without contracts. So the trailer was made by outside people. The, the people with the trailer had nothing to do with the game, apparently. They're just, hey, make us a trailer real quick, overnight type of thing. Uh, here's a, a direct post from one of the people like, directly involved with the game. It says, this trailer was created with abuse, manipulation, and theft. Find out the Damn. truth about the development of this game here. People who have worked on every shot of this are no longer with the company holding IP rights. Some were not even paid for their work. This trailer has a pending conflict of IP. The real IP for the game was stolen from the creators via foul play. Final reaction of the publisher to this information remains to be seen. So who knows if we'll ever even see these games because it looks like it's caught up in a storm of like litigation and legal mess right now, man, because IP which is a shame which is a shame because this looks so dope it looks so good the music sounded amazing the the style is fucking crazy looking man like i said it's like neo hell demon scape like with like neon colors and like like everything's like illuminated in this, in this weird neon light it's crazy mm-hmm and then the next game uh, is Anno Mutation. It was just some chick running around. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a, a side scrolling slash like free roam, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, there's like a city portion where you're walking around kind of open worldy, but not mm-hmm. really. It looks kind of like Pokemon style where you're locked to certain routes. And then, like, the actual, like, gameplay portion looks like it's a side-scroller with, like, um... Like, hack-and-slash? Like, a hack-and-slash combo-based type of melee thing, which looks pretty crazy, honestly. Like, I can't believe I forgot about it, because it honestly looks super cool. It looks super similar to a project a friend of mine just started working on, but, like, a lot more advanced and, like, crazy with the animation, so... I think it looks pretty cool. I'll probably check that out for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, because that one's, uh, not caught up in any sort of legal debacle. <laughs> ah, and then your favorite game of all time. Oh go man, ahead, we're, about, we're about to talk about this. Do you have the late. article pulled up? Because you can you can go ahead and talk about this. I, I, so, I, so everyone, the world of bug snacks is starting to make a little more sense in the gameplay trailer. It reveals that we'll be playing as a journalist after a hot scoop. Oh wow! You actually fucking <laughs> not only that paid attention, but we got a glimpse of how we'll be helping islanders we meet from tracking down their favorite bug snacks to herding them into pens. Plus, it'll be available on PS5 and PS4 by the end of the year. I just read the thing, but <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I was just like, wow, you said it's super informed. Holy shit! But oh my god, yeah, bug snacks. Nothing. Nothing nothing to clear up any sort of confusion for me like what the fuck is this game and why is it here why is it here you're trapping bugs and you're getting villagers back to the village i thought you're supposed to be there to expose them for as frauds i i don't i don't know i i'm i'm not here i am gone this is a hologram (laughs) <laughs> give me one give me give me one second <laughs> all right you done talking about fucking bug snacks can we move on please no i'm not done yet God, so what's... anyways so there's like this cool system where like you could like throw traps dude you're gonna trap the bug snacks okay i'm done <laughs> welcome to the podcast this is uh this is oscar uh welcome to pod boys advance episode number 13 uh, we're gonna. Oh God! I'm sorry. I, I I left the hologram back in intro mode. I apologize. All for right. That. All right. I'm back. Uh, moving on. Uh, Control getting a, a DLC package number two, and it's adding interestingly enough Alan Wake, which is uh, a character from uh, a 360 game, which I actually own. Very good game. Uh, my cousins uh, from Mexico, in particular, are super, super, super partial to it they loved alan wake it's another like sci-fi kind of thriller type of game apparently it's in Mm. 
set in the same universe as Control, apparently, and uh, now they're bringing Alan Wake into the mix of Control. That's cool. a game that I eventually plan to check out, to be honest with you, because I'm into like telekinetic psychic powers and shit like that, so I think it looks pretty cool. Nice, nice, but, nice. Yeah, I might check that out at some point. Uh, mm. Next game is Auto Chess. Auto Nope. Auto Buy. Auto Next. The Pedestrian. It looked kind of interesting, but... It looked kind of interesting, but also not my... And again, puzzle, puzzle like heavy, heavy puzzle games, not my... Th- like Even Paper Mario, like I said, is starting to wear on me. Like I'm just not that big into like straight up puzzle games. You know? Yeah, I feel you. But I mean, it looks pretty cool. You like uh, have to guide a little stick figure guy around, like the like basically like the stick figure off of the freaking restroom sign. You have to like I, basically guide him through like the real world. I'll give him this. The whole premise is unique. It's a very unique game. Yeah, it's. I think it's a cool idea and everything like that. Yeah. Like, you have to like shift panels and stuff around, create paths for the little man to walk so he doesn't fall and like, you know break his stick figure i mean well he has he doesn't have a neck you don't want to you don't want him to spine spine he has to have a spine i don't know what he's made out of eric i I mean he's made out of like 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 vinyl resin right they're plastic signs (laughs) okay we're getting to it okay yeah we're (laughs) too meta with this with the stick figure in his anatomy Ooh, ooh, I'm excited to talk about this next one. Dude, hell yeah. Hood, Outlaw, and Legends. Let's go. It's it looks a really fucking, cool. Like rogue thief multiplayer game mm-hmm. where you have to like sneak around and like fucking loot and fucking steal from rich folks while also trying to not get got by other thieves. Mm hmm. Sneak Attack Central. I'm so in for this. People say it. The article says it's like Assassin's Creed if it was a multiplayer game, but fuck that. Assassin Creed. Assassin's Creed hasn't been like super stealthy and assassiny in a, in a very long time. Like I like I discussed on the podcast before. Mm-hmm. This looks like some real ass rogue shit, bro. Plus, I, it looks like you can like. There's different characters you can choose from. Yeah, so different types, different classes and shit. You know, you like, like bow and arrow, or you can just straight up go in there with a, like a fucking hammer, dude. Fuck yeah! So this game, I'm um, I'm all in on this one. Yeah, I'm sold on that for sure. I'm I'm there. I'm in. Um, moving on to the next game, Temtem. Already out on PC. Um, a lot of people liked it. It had like a big like uprising, then it completely died out again. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's basically like uh, the internet's the angry internet's uh, Pokemon wish list that will never ever ever get fully fulfilled by Nintendo and Game Freak and the Pokemon Company of like a fully online MMO type experience with like full customizable difficulty and stuff like that, like online tournaments, like actual like cool innovations that Pokemon probably should have been incorporating over the time as it evolved instead of kind of just staying the same you know what i mean so yeah it's it's really cool it's like like i said it's the coolest pokemon clone you'll probably ever encounter um so i mean i'll probably check it out when it comes to switch i probably won't check it out on playstation but it is coming to everything so um, I'd rather have something like that on Switch. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I, that's why I haven't copped it on PC either, even though it's been out for a while. That's something I definitely want to play portably like a Pokemon game. So, uh, once it hits Switch, I'm I, I'm definitely in on Temtem. But, dude, the big daddy of the games that... Yeah, so these motherfuckers... That, that, that drop. Yeah. Fucking Sony, when they announced the state of play in general, they tweeted a follow-up tweet saying, to be clear... There will be no big PS5 announcements, no big news about PS5 or anything like that. Then these motherfuckers end it with like a full deep dive into Godfall. Mm-hmm. And you as a big Destiny guy and myself as an ex-big Destiny guy so trying to be re-in- re-inoculated big Destiny guy. 
are both mm -hmm. really excited for this. This looks really good. It's basically like we've discussed before, like they've been saying, it's it's melee destiny. It's it's sword it's sword and shield destiny. Mm-hmm. You know, and so it it's looks a, so freaking cool, dude. Looter slasher. It was it was the footage shown was off of a PS5 development kit. Um, so it was still a work in progress, but it still looked fucking great. It looked very fluid. Combat looks super cool. There's a bunch of different weapon types, a bunch of upgrades and abilities for those weapons. Uh, what you unlock, you, you unlock a bunch of different armor suits that give you different buffs, different abilities, and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then apart from that, there's like a vast, vast loot system. So you'll be constantly getting drops, constantly be getting better shit. So. You know, that's the definitely 100% right up our alley. So I'm sold in day one. Godfall, let's fucking go. Hell yeah, I am too, dude. Anything that includes that, like, looter, that loot, man. I'm all in for the loot. And then you add swords and shields and just... It just looks so good. We should cop. Uh, we should cop Borderlands on Switch and uh, do some playthroughs together because that's a looter. That's like a looter, looter shooter. Looter, yeah, looter shooter. And I've never played them before, so. Oh, okay. We should. We should. I'm we down. Should, we should cop those and play through them together. Maybe even, a stream it. I'm down. As you we are, what? as we are wont to do. You know what we never did? We never did the Pokemon tournament. I know. I don't know if it's still free, but if it is, we should do that. For sure. Well, yeah, man. I know a lot of the dudes in the Discord uh, picked it up and played it. So if it's still going, maybe we'll like uh, do like a community thing and have them hop on and play with us, you know? I just sneezed. How'd it feel? Not good. Not good? It was not a good sneeze. Really? I usually enjoy the fuck out of sneezes. Woo. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's, that rocked you, huh? Rocked you a bit. A little bit. But that's uh, going to do it for us this week, you guys. Thank you so much to everybody who uh, listened. Thank you if you made it this far. You are the truest homie, the truest MVP. And I will buy you a McDonald's apple pie. Actually, that's really shitty. That's really bad. I, don't I would wanna, I would unfriend you if you just yeah, I don't want to do that. up with a McDonald's apple pie. Yeah, if, I'm sorry. What if what if they're allergic to apples? <laughs> what the fuck? Or a pie? It's like bring me a peanut butter. Okay, you know cup. what? I'm not getting you guys anything. <laughs> just thank you so much for watching the, the show, for listening. If you're on Spotify, you guys are awesome. Don't take um, food from strangers. Don't take food from strangers, especially especially. Especially McDonald's apple pie. McDonald's apple pies. God, please don't, don't, just don't eat the apple pies. Don't eat them. Strawberry cream pies are back. No. <laughs> that might be worse than the apple pie. Oh, it's definitely worse than the apple pies, Eric. Oh, shit. Uh, but yeah, anyway. You guys know where to find us. Yeah, follow us on Twitter at uh, Pod Boys Advance. You guys can join the Discord as well at Pod Boys Advanced. Um, you can find me on Twitter at uh, Knife Life Osk, and you can find the YouTube channel in case you're uh, interested in checking out the video version if you're listening on uh, audio at uh, Knife Life Media. Eric, go ahead and plug your own channel. Yeah, on YouTube, um, Erky Plays, and same thing on Twitter. I recently also started an Instagram under Erky Plays as well, but I, do, I haven't put anything up on there. And yeah, I would like to say that I have not had any time for streaming, so I left everyone on a cliffhanger for that Persona 5. Oh shit, I, damn. Yeah, and it's been like almost two weeks now. So... That's going to come again soon. I'm, I swear I'm not lagging on it. I've just been working like a madman. But uh, Got to do what we got to do. Got to get that money. I forgot to mention it. I Another shout out, as always, 
to one of our best buds, Major Amicus. Because homeboy straight up built me a PC. Shout out to the fucking homie, man. That that dude has done so much for our small, tight-knit community over these past couple months, man. Biggest shout out to him. We gotta, yeah. we definitely gotta find a way to repay to repay him big time, man. He's definitely he's the truest of truest homies for sure. So, anyways, yeah, he I finally got the PC from him, mm-hmm. and I just got a mouse and keyboard in the mail. So yeah, what what kind of mouse and keyboard? If you don't mind me asking, I know we're trying to wrap up, but I'm nosy. I got a red dragon. Fancy. See, here's the here's the keyboard. Well, you got your you got your green screen on, so doesn't do. Oh, oh, oh! There you go. Yeah. See, red red dragon keyboard. Sick. And it lights up diff- like rainbow colors, not just green. Nice. Mine just does and red. I've got red dragon mouse. Sick, dude. It was it was really good buy, dude. It was only like like thirty bucks, and this mouse is like weighted and everything. Nice, dude. Well, there you go, man. You, we can uh, you can start. Streaming. Dude, we're gonna hop on on some divinity. We're gonna hop on on some divinity. You can start streaming. You can start doing some more crazy stuff with your streams since you gotta you can get like a whole dual screen setup going now. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that's sick, man. Shout out to Fernando, man. The biggest, the biggest, the biggest of shout outs. If you guys haven't checked him out, Major Amicus on uh, on Twitter and on Twitch. Uh, I believe he hit. Yeah, he, he streams pretty often. He hit affiliate on Twitch. Yeah, he's on there. Uh, he's always grinding away at Raid Shadow Legends or something else fun. So make sure you guys check him out. Shout out to all the homies in the Discord. Y'all know who you are. Shout out to all the mod boys. Hey. Shout out to everyone who comes out to the streams and everything like that. There's always, always so much love, always so much support. Shout out to, shout out to the homie Ace, always coming through with donations when I stream too, man. That's fucking crazy to me still. So, man, thank you guys so much. If you uh, prefer audio, like always, we're on Spotify. Anchor puts us everywhere else. If you want Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or whatever. Um, Pod Boys Advance, you can find us pretty much anywhere. But, yeah. That's going to do it for us this week. As always, my name is Oscar. And I'm Eric. And this has been Pod Boys Advance. Uh, we will see you guys next week. Later. See you later. Don't take food from strangers. Don't, Don't eat, eat the apple, apple pie. pie. <laughs>